This video is going to walk you through the steps to find the speed of an object using a distance time graph. Here's our graph and what we have on the y-axis is distance in meters and on the x-axis we have time in seconds. What we're going to do first is look at the information from somebody walking which is in green by our legend. We're going to increase the distance by 0.5 meters per second and we're going to compare that to somebody jogging where their distance will increase by 2 meters per second. Notice how the green line is a flatter, more horizontal slope and the red line is a steeper, more upright slope. What we're going to do is compare the speeds of those using numbers. To do that I'm going to move my graph over here and I'm going to look at the y equals mx plus b equation which is the equation of a straight line where the variable m equals the slope which can be found as the rise divided by the run or the y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. I'm going to use slope equals rise over run because I think that's what most of us use so I'm going to identify that slope equals the rise divided by the run. And we're going to look at the walking data first. So the rise for the walking data is 5 meters. Okay, I'm going to substitute that in for the rise divided by the run, which is going to be 10 seconds. Once I do that calculation, I'm going to get 0 0.5 meters per second. And that's going to represent my speed of the person that is walking. Okay, I'm going to write that down just to keep to compare for later. Now we're going to look at the data from jogging. So for that, I'm going to use my slope equals rise divided by the run and look at the slope data for jogging. For jogging, the rise is 10 meters and we're going to divide that by the run which is 5 seconds. And we can do that calculation to get 2 meters per second, which is going to be the speed for the person jogging. And we can compare those two values, the flatter 0 0.5 meters per second to the more steep 2.5 meters per second to make the conclusion that if we have a steeper slope, it's going to represent more speed. The last example involves a few more extra steps. There are a few extra segments, but we're going to look at breaking those segments down uh, step by step, even though it's still a distance time graph. The first segment involves beginning at zero kilometers and moving to two kilometers away from our starting point over the course of two hours. We can say that we're moving away from our starting point as well as we're moving at constant speed since the slope is constant for that entire segment. The second segment uh, is flat. It means we're not moving. At the beginning of the segment, we're two kilometers away, and that's still the same at the end of the segment. So we're not moving. We can say there's no speed. The third segment moves from two kilometers to seven kilometers away over the course of two hours. So we can say that we're moving away from our starting point and we have constant speed as the slope is constant throughout that entire segment. The fourth segment is flat again, so there's going to be no movement, no speed, and we're going to be at rest. The final segment involves moving back to where we started from seven kilometers back to zero kilometers. So we're moving back to our initial starting point and we can say that it's at constant speed because the slope is the same throughout the whole segment.